Well, we're in Antigua. Did I ever tell you a few years ago that along with Julian and Lynn and Dave and Linda, we did the Heineken Regatta in St. Martin? We actually won our class. Don't like to talk about it much. So here we are in Antigua and whatever it is they say about idle hands. But we decided we'd sign up for Antigua Sailing Week, or at least around the island part of it tomorrow. That's going to be a laugh. But first, to get ourselves in shape, we went for a walk over the top of the island, looking down on English and Falmouth harbours. It's all very pretty, and a bit more wind than there was for the classics. So, hopefully we were going to get a good race around the island. Quite a long way, 66 miles in a day. But we were going to give it a go, as best we could. It was a long way up, and what goes up must come down, even if it is a bit unsteadily. I think that rules out Everest for our future plans. Antigua Classic Yachts Regatta. So, all the old guys are out, including me. We were a bit late, so we missed the start. But there's not a lot of wind today. Antigua also hosted the Caribbean Wing Foiling Championships. I think that's a bit like the World Baseball Series. But nonetheless, quite a spectacle. Now this guy, he was in a whole class of his own as regards skills. Not quite sure what you call this. Kite foiling, I guess. But uh, he was pretty impressive. Right, it's race day and the pressure is on. Already been uh, some discord about what course we should run and there's only three of us. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. Yeah, but they changed. Class one start coming up. Nine, eight, seven, six. Mm. Port end start. Port tack start. Mm. How many is on that? Nine. And on this one, one minute recording signal. There's eight, and there's only two of us. I'm feeling a little bit inadequate. We did have 66 miles to go, and that included beating up the coast, which was all a bit hard work for some. It's a lovely day for a sail. It's a shame we're so far off the island and not seeing much. But we got full sail, the old cold zero, and we're about to take that down and put up the code D. And that's a view we've never had before. We left a dinghy hanging off the back of one of our new best friends in Antigua. So now we've got two transom wakes. Not a lot different to be honest. Well, it's the unofficial two up round Antigua race and we're having a break. What are we having? Toast. Toasted rolls. Yum yum. Well, can you believe it? That's the end. We missed the finish by 20 minutes. Second in our class. And that's Muria, who had a wardrobe malfunction with their spinnaker. And we got past them and managed to stay ahead to the finish. We were way too busy during that race to take much photographs, so I'm afraid that was it. But we made it, came in second, and went to the prize giving. 
So at the prize giving we're looking around and guess who turns up but one of the guys I used to race against 30 years ago at the Scottish series, Ian Galbraith. He comes every year, certainly for the last 25 years, to race Jigsaw and he invited us aboard for the week. So one plan went out the window and doing Antigua Race Week came in. So this is a few shots of what we got up to. We are on Jigsaw, mostly Scottish boat, and we're heading out of English Harbour to do race number one in Antigua Race Week. That's our skipper Ian and his nephew Stevie and the rest of the crew up front and there's Stuart. I'll just video a bit of other teams preparing. Got all the white matching tops. Big business here in matching tops. A great way to do this week would be get your pals together, charter a moorings or a bare boat charters boat and come do it. Brilliant fun. They even get their own class. Guys coming in for a good start. Hold your nerve, hold your nerve. Ah, chicken, there was plenty room. Start, we've just come over the start line. And these are people in our class, white with a red dot. It was exhausting work, short tacking off the line and then up the coast. I mean, I nearly got a blister on my finger having to push the button to wind in the Genoa. Jeez, how days have changed. Other than the Swans, Jigsaw was one of the older boats in the fleet and I have to say the sails could have done with a bit of, uh, bit of ironing maybe but the boat could still point, outpointing a lot of the new fast boats. were two classic Swan 65s on the course. These were beautiful boats to watch powering upwind and downwind. Match racing for the Swan catchers. I don't think Ian will mind me saying, but he turns 80 this year, doing well, and he's not a bad dancer, and still a damn good sailor. That was a tag. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, it's a newfangled thing the young people use. <laughs> the end of Antigua week. And it really does look just like Tarbor. Nelson's dockyard. The final night party. And prize giving. See what we win. And then just like Tarbert, the, drink, the drinks arrive. You got this all the time at the Scotty series. What's that? I've seen this just like Scotty series. The drinks arrive. Except you didn't need ice because it was freezing outside. Well, that was maybe a bit long, but I hope the sailors amongst you enjoyed it. We had a great time, and from Antigua, we were off to St. Martin and onwards to Bermuda.
there's all the YouTube sensation people say don't forget to smash that like button pleasant amusing and complimentary comments are always welcome thanks for watching